building and the production of building materials are significant contributors to greenhouse gases. Cement production alone accounts for 5% of all global carbon dioxide emissions. But with the construction industry such an essential part of our lives, lowering those emissions presents a real challenge. I'm Joyce O'Harja in Oxfordshire in England to find out about a new material that could do just that. Well, we're in the field of hemp, and we're here because we're talking about a product called hempcrete. So what is hempcrete? It's an environmentally friendly building material, and we take the hemp plant and we can turn it into a variety of materials that we can use to build almost any sort of building. We're going to see Mike, who looks after all the farmers. So, Mike, what makes hemp such a great crop? Well, it's, it's a very fast-growing crop, and because it's so fast-growing, the farmer doesn't have to put any pesticides on it, so it grows very quickly. It swamps out all, the, all of the weeds and puts fibre back into the soil. By the time this crop has grown and been processed by Ian for hempcrete, that's probably locked up somewhere in the region of 1.4 tonnes of carbon per tonne of hemp. So it's taking CO2 out the atmosphere and locking it up, mm -hmm. as well as providing environmental benefits for the farmer. Mm -hmm. Mike, many people, when they think about hemp, they think marijuana or, or cannabis, but what's the difference? These hemp crops have mm -hmm. to be below 0.2% THC, which is the hallucinogenic element of cannabis. Cannabis is typically 15%. THC. So what, what would happen to the plant before you'd be able to turn it into hempcrete? We have a process called retting and retting is the process of the lignans in the plant starting to break down so that the fibre can be separated from the woody core or the shiv. So if you so sort this... of do this with it you can see it's all the woody part starts to separate Right. and then you're left with fibres. Oh, it's just this bit here? The fibres, yeah. These bits? Yeah. Like that. That's it, that's the... That's the shiv. That's the shiv that goes into the hemcrete. That's what we're looking for. OK, so we're going to try to get some of this shiv so that we can take it to the factory. We'll be here for a while, though, won't we, if we do yep. it by hand? Better get cracking, then. Mm. <laughs> we take the shiv and we'll, we'll mix it in our big mixer over there with a lime-based binder and we'll add water and we'll turn it into hemcrete. Well, this is quite impressive, and I'm just going to add my last oh, bucket of hemp to the mix. The hempcrete that we've just mixed is in the bucket, right? and it's just about to be tipped into the panels and then spread out to the required thickness. So as a, as a building material, what's the difference between Concrete and, and concrete. In a concrete building, the concrete itself is the structure. In a hempcrete building, we use a timber frame, or in some cases, it could be a steel frame. How environmentally friendly is a hempcrete home? Well, it has a much lower carbon footprint. Uh, when you build out of conventional building materials, for every square metre of wall that you build, about 100 kilos of carbon dioxide are emitted into the atmosphere. Whereas because this is carbon negative, we're actually locking up carbon dioxide. So for every square metre of wall of a hempcrete building, you're locking up about 30 kilos of carbon dioxide, which is quite significant. 20 to 30, maybe even 40% reduction in uh, the carbon footprint of buildings. And how does hempcrete compare to traditional materials that we would use for building? It's far more thermally efficient than most building materials that we use. It's actually the cellular structure of the hemp uh, it traps lots of air in there and when it's mixed up and stuck together with the lime it, it gives you a material that has both insulation and thermal inertia. Temperatures fluctuate up and down and sometimes the heat's going one way, sometimes it's going the other way and you want a material that can iron out those peaks and troughs uh, and that's called inertia, the ability to smooth out the fluctuations in temperature. Here we have a hempcrete panel that's gone hard and the next stage is we're going to fill this remaining space with the hemp fibre. You remember the fibre that came from the, the plant in the field? And then this is ready to have its uh, protective membrane over the surface of it. Okay. Then. So you've made a whole panel from start to finish. You could keep that blowtorch on there for a few hours and it would just burn in a few millimetres. That's far more fire resistant than most building materials. Not making much of an impact. Well, it forms a very, very robust material. OK, 
Okay, my wrist is starting to hurt now. <laughs> the, to build these some, are all oh, finished. Sunderland Avenue. Sunderland. So is that someone's house? That's right. Craig, it's back in. Nice to meet you. I'll show you around today and uh, show you how the panels go together. Individually, the panels will be lifted up right and dropped into place. It gets the building structure up at least fairly quickly. You can begin working on the inside and the outside at the, at the same time, so it is a much faster build. Right, just guiding it in there. Is it in? OK, I'm going to hand it over to the expert. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. It's harder than it looks. Ah, oh, that's how you do it properly. That was hard. I would never have been able to do that. Is that a breath? Yeah, exactly. You're out of breath, aren't you? We, we chuck so much stuff away and skips every year on building stuff. Hmm. It's frightening. So um, to be able to use something which is pretty green is nice. Nice hmm. to change. Hmm. But you're not mixing concrete. You're not putting bricks down, and and that that's better, I suppose. Oh yeah. That's better for the environment. I, th I think it's a great product. I think it's the way forward. Excellent. Job done. It's starting to look more like a house. It's coming. Yes, it's getting there. With recent improvements to the manufacturing techniques, the cost of building a hempcrete house is now similar to building with traditional materials. Roch Garrard is one of those who's built his home with hempcrete. Hello. Hello. Hello, Hello Roch. So what made you want to build a, a hempcrete house? I think we were looking to cut our, our fuel bills substantially. And has it done that? It's cut the heating bills down enormously. It's a very constant heat. Um, it never gets very cold. It never gets too hot. Mm. Um, and it's just an easy, happy condition to live in. Mm. We started from the premise that if you're going to build a house, you want to build a house that is, in fact, impacting upon the environment as little as possible. Well, Hempcrete seems to tick so many boxes. Do you think in the future that we'll see more people like Roch building houses out of Hempcrete? I think so. The construction techniques are moving forward at quite a pace, as we've seen in the, in the factory and on the site. I think we'll see thousands and thousands of Hempcrete houses happening in the future.